it's Tony. Now in my last video, I showed you how to make these giant outdoor crystal ornaments. And I got such a great response. You guys already made some beautiful ones. Thank you so much for posting some of your images on my Facebook page. I really love them. You also wanted to know how I lit my outdoor ornaments and how to make the traditional color bubs like the one that Lashana showed in her example. Well, today I'll show you how to make these large ornaments with color, fun Christmas cheer, and show you how to light them up so that they sparkle automatically at night. And of course you can make all of these using Dollar Tree pieces. To make my large red bulb ornament, from Dollar Tree I picked up two large clear smooth acrylic bowls for each bulb, one small acrylic decorative bowl, a Christmas door hanger, ribbon, one bag of rocks per ornament, and gold diamond wrap ribbon. From Walmart I picked up Rust-Oleum Red Spray Paint, Rust-Oleum Gold Metallic Spray Paint, Warm White LED Battery Operated Wire Lights, and the White Sharpie Oil Paint Marker. To put everything together, I'm using Gorilla Clear Grip Glue and the hot glue gun. Okay, so I want to start with making some bulbs that look like the ones on LaShonda's pictures. So I'm taking my large smooth bows outside and I'm going to spray paint them red. I want these bulbs to have a very shiny surface on the outside, just like in the photo. So I'm going to spray paint the inside of the bulb so that on the outside where it's seen, you'll still have that very shiny acrylic surface. I'm going to be making two red bulbs, so I'm spray painting four bowls. I need two bowls for each. Now these little bowls look a lot like the decorative caps that go on ornaments because they have the wavy bottom, so I'm going to use this for my caps. For these, I'm spraying the outside of the bowls. I think it'll look more like metal caps without the shiny finish. So I want this to have more of a dull metal tin look. I'll be using these door hangers as the rings for the top of my ornaments. I like the bells at the bottom, but I don't like this material that's at the top. I just want the rings. So I'm pulling the material off and I'm spray painting the top ring parts gold and silver to match the metal part of the bells. Now that these pieces are completely dry, I'm going to take these and assemble them. I'm using two of these to make a large ball shape. But before I glue these together, I want to put a couple of holes in the top piece so that I can attach the cap and add lights. I'm going to need two holes in the cap piece and two holes in the top of the ball. I'll be using the tip of my hot glue gun to melt these holes into the pieces. I'm making two holes on either side of the center and to do this I'm just placing the hot glue gun on top and I'm going to gently rock it back and forth with very little pressure. If you have too much pressure it will crack the plastic. Also I am not squeezing any hot glue out, I'm just using the tip to melt the plastic. It'll take a minute with the hot glue gun. If you have a hot knife, this would be much faster. So when the tip starts to go through, you can put more pressure. And I am pushing the tip all the way to the end to make the largest holes possible. Then you want to push something through that hole to make sure it's open. You could use an ink pen or a pencil and you want to have something that looks like this. And I made the same two holes on my gold cap. To light these I'm using LED mini lights. This is a set of 18. It's battery operated, it has three settings and it's time. So you can set it, it'll come on at the same time every night and it'll stay on for six hours. This takes three AA batteries and I found these at Walmart. You can actually find lights similar to these at Dollar Tree, but you'll have to turn them on and off manually. 
So first I'm going to unravel the wire and I'm going to feed the wire through one of the holes in the top portion of the ball. And I'm feeding this through until there's about three or four lights left at the top of the ball. I want a few lights to go around the cap of my ball also. I'll also be using the cap to hide the control box of my lights. But first to make sure the lights are distributed evenly inside the ball, I'm going to use a little scotch tape to help position the lights where I want them. Starting with the bottom ball, I'm going to tape the wire to the ball in a few places. Oh, I almost forgot. I want these to sit on my porch, so I need to add some weight to them. So I'm just going to place a bag of rocks I got from Dollar Tree right in the center of the bottom half. If you're going to hang this bulb or suspend it, do not put the rocks in. This is just to keep it weighed down if you have it outside so it won't blow away. Also, when you're lifting these pieces, lift them from the bottom where the rocks are. Now I use scotch tape to position all my lights where I want them. Now before I close this up, let me turn off the lights to see how this will look. With this control, you can have three different settings. You can do flashing, you can do a slow glow, or you can have it just be steady light. So the lights seem to be glowing pretty evenly, so I think I'm ready to put my cap on and close this ball up. And speaking of these lights, a lot of you wanted to know how I lit my large topiaries I made in the last video. I also used these same lights and I hid the controller inside the cap. But instead of feeding the lights into the inside of the piece, I just wrapped the lights around the outside of the whole piece. Okay, now back to my red bulb. To attach my cap, I'm going to use a piece of ribbon. I'm going to thread half of the ribbon through one of the holes of the top part of the ball and the other half through the other hole. Now I'm going to take my controller box and just place it inside a sandwich bag. This is a snack bag. I'm doing this just to keep it waterproof and I'm putting a box and a black wire inside the bag. I'm folding the bag snug around the box and I'm placing the box right in the center at the top. And I'm taping those remaining few lights down at the top so that they can glow through the cap. Now I'm going to pull the two ends of the ribbon through the two holes in the cap. Place the cap over the controls and lights, pull it tight and then add the door hanger and tie a bow around that. To close and seal this ball up, I'm using Gorilla Clear Grip glue and I'm putting the glue right on the top edge of the bottom ball. Then I'm placing the top piece directly on top of that and making sure everything lines up perfectly. I also decided to add some gold diamond wrap around the center just to hide the seams. Now I think this is perfect the way it is right now, but since my original viewer who requested this wanted it to look like this image, let's add some type and decorations. Okay, to add the words Merry Christmas, I'm using a white Sharpie paint marker. And I don't have the best handwriting, but I'm going to try to imitate the type that's on these bulbs. But you could also use a stencil to paint the type on. Also, I found these cool felt glittery white snowflake stickers at Dollar Tree and I'm going to use these to imitate the starbursts that are on the image that she provided. Okay LaShonda this is for you. Here are the two Merry Christmas Christmas bulbs. Now they're not as large as the ones in the images you sent 
but they should look nice on your porch and unlike the ones in the photo they won't cost you five hundred dollars plus the homemade ones will light up and by the way when you're ready to activate the lights just wait till you want them to come on untie the bow at the top to loosen up the cap turn on the light tie the bow back and you'll only have to do that once they'll come on every night at the same time Using the same process, but with different types of bows, I also created a gold and silver bulb, a silver and gold bulb, a couple of lit crystal bulbs. For the crystal bulbs, I use white rocks to make the rocks harder to see through the clear pieces. And coming up next, I wanna show you how I created these present boxes that sparkle and glow with lights. For my outdoor present boxes, at Dollar Tree, I found these red and green storage containers. I'm using two for each box. I also picked up a couple of large present bowls and sparkly foil gift wrapping paper. For these, I'm also using the LED mini wired lights I got from Walmart. The same way I made my light bulbs, I'm gonna start by adding lights to the inside of this piece. These containers are pretty transparent, so they'll look really nice with the light shining through. But since I don't have to attach a cap and I'm not going to pull a ribbon through these holes, I'm just going to make one hole right in the center of the top piece. And again, I'm using the heat from the tip of my glue gun to create the hole. And then I'm going to turn the lights on and feed the wire through the hole all the way through and into the bottom container. And like what I did with the ornaments, I'm gonna start taping the wires into position so that the light is evenly distributed throughout the top and the bottom container. This set has more lights. I believe it has about 36 lights, so there's a lot more to work with. And I'm just using scotch tape for this. Okay, I think this looks good. Just make sure your control box is on the outside and I think it's time to close this up. Now before I close this up, I'm going to put the control box into a little Ziploc baggie and I'm just going to tape that down with some clear tape. You could use packing tape but you wanna make sure you can work the controls, so make sure the switch is facing upward. And this will be later hidden by a bow. Now I'm ready to close my gift box up, so I'm just applying some Gorilla Clear Grip glue around the top edges of the bottom box. And then I'm gonna sit the top on top of the bottom piece and make sure everything's lined up and sealed closed. So I turn off the lights and I let that sit and dry for about a half an hour. So now it's time to decorate. I'm using this sparkly foil gift wrapping paper. This will work great for outside because it's sort of a plastic paper and it's waterproof. I'm gonna be cutting strips out of this paper and use it as a ribbon to wrap around the box. I'm cutting four even fat strips the first strip I'm sitting under the box widthwise, right in the middle. I put a little hot glue at the bottom of the box and I'm putting hot glue at the top on each end. For the long end, I'm gluing the strip on each half and then I'm gonna glue it up at the top and let the excess hang over and do the same with the other side. And then on both ribbons, I'm gonna take the excess and sort of gather it up and make a little loop so it looks like the end of a bowl and glue those in place. And then I'm gonna take my large bowl and put hot glue on the edges of the bowl and sort of glue those to the 
the loops that I just made. Now I did not glue the bow onto the top of the controller because I want to be able to lift it up a little and stick my fingers in there so that I could work the controls to turn on the lights. And again, you're only going to turn on the lights once. So when you're ready to turn it on, say at seven o'clock, uh, just reach in there, turn the switch on and then you're done. It'll come on every night at seven o'clock. I also want to cut out some little rectangles at the bottom of these strips to make them look more like ribbon. I also have one more strip left, so I'm going to cut this in half and make another two loops on each side of this bowl. So I made this beautiful green gift box and a red gift box to go along with all my lovely large ornaments and oh how they'll sparkle and light up the path to my home this holiday season. Check out my new Etsy store where you can get some of these projects and I'll be adding new creations as the seasons change. You'll also be able to get full color step-by-step -step instructions for my most favorite projects as instant digital downloads. So check back for your favorites. I'll be adding those every day. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my Your House a Home metallic multi-surface acrylic paint with eight beautiful shimmering colors. You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And from Amazon, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1 with all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show. And you can add them all to your cart for the one-click, fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.